So last time, we made a whole chunk render which was pretty epic. But that ain't enough, we want more. We want to be able to place blocks and shit. But for that, we need more code and more chunks, so let's go. Let's start out by creating a chunk class. Damn, that is a lot of errors. <laughs> but don't you worry guys, I know how to fix this. And boom, the errors are gone and so is the chunk. Okay, uh, go back. What the fuck is that? Go back. Oh no. All right, fixed it. One chunk, easy. Eight chunks, damn, my performance is bad. 27 chunks, we, we, I mean, we, we can still run this. 64 chunks. Uh, uh, yeah, um, turns out drawing 69,422 blocks per frame isn't exactly ideal. Who would have guessed? So this is what we will do. We will ditch the useless blocks inside of the chunk. And we can do that easily by throwing the blocks as numbers instead of actual blocks. Then we can sprinkle some fancy fancy math magic on top and boom! We are only rendering the top of the chunk. But, but wait, that's not exactly what we wanted. We want to see the full chunk. So let's add the bottom of the chunk in as well. Wait, wait, where is the bottom? Ah, there it is, right above the top of the chunk. <laughs> what the f***? Now, unless you're Australian, this makes a lot of sense. But for everyone else, we want the world flipped back to normal. So let's just... Boom! The world is normal. Now, if you add the rest of the sides in... Nice. Alright, let's run it with 27 chunks. And boom! Look, it is hollow and smooth with no extra blocks inside of it. And best of all, no lag. But one texture is pretty boring. So let's start making more textures like... Uh, uh, um, I have a better idea. Let's ask you guys for textures. Bam! Thanks Rubit and Iris for the textures. You're very pog champ. So now, if you place these textures in... Wow, look at that! It's wrong. Shit. No, that is actually pretty cool, but it's still wrong. Oh god, that is horrible. Oh. My. God. Why. Won't. It. Work. Bruh. It has been working for a while, I'm just looking at the wrong side. I was changing the front side, but I was looking at the back side, so I couldn't see the changes. Alright, perfect. Apart from the top, of course, but we will deal with that later. So now that we got more textures, we can start to generate the terrain. If height is less than 3, we'll put stone. If it's less than 6, we'll put dirt. And else, we'll put grass. And boom, look, we got terrain. It is as flat as my girlfriend. It's something I would not say if I had a girlfriend. But speaking of relationships that I don't have, me and Visual Studio Code, it's just not working anymore. So my wingman Jasper hooked me up with Sea Lion. And what can I say? It was love at first compile. So yeah, we are officially switching from Visual Studio Code to Sea Lion. All of this is thanks to my wingman Jasper. But hold up, before we continue, this code is an absolute Frankenstein, stitched together from the darkest places of tutorials and my own questionable style. So let's revamp it. Oh damn, that's not good. And... Wait, no, this is one, right? Yeah, I think this is one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, damn. Isn't that... <laughs> Amazing. Yes. No, no, those warnings are nothing. Well, it, it kind of works. <laughs> but I think it, it's fucked in another way that I don't want it to be fucked. How many blocks is this? I can't count. Oh, yeah. So, I just, for some reason, I get some extra spaces, which I don't want. It's it's one block extras. This, this is one block, right? Wow, look at that. And it runs, and I can I, I can move, but I can't rotate. Amazing. And yeah, that should be alright. Let's see. Oh, okay, we, we are going fast. You can do this, but when you try to rotate, <laughs> and then I'm moving upwards. <laughs> yeah, it works. And it's a lot cleaner, in a way. Um, well, except for this part, but you know. <laughs> alright, now let's make it possible to break blocks. We can do that by shooting out a ray and see if it hits something. So now, if we hit something, we should get a value between 0 and 4. For example, 64. Uh, what? Now, this problem was so bad that I had a whole seminar about it on my Discord for you guys. And eventually, we fixed it. Well, kind of. Hey, look at that! It destroyed the block! <laughs> Yo, let's go! <laughs> and now it should crash. Yes! You see, the reason why it crashes is because I told the program, hit something, don't hit something, who cares, just delete it. Which is pretty dumb. But we can fix it with a simple if check. And boom! Now we can break block. Oh god. And boo! Now we can break blocks. And conveniently, we can also place blocks. Nah! I'm just messing with you. I'm just breaking blocks inside of the chunk, which gives the illusion of placing blocks. Haha, <laughs> I'm so funny. But for real now, let's implement the block placing. But there is a problem. I don't know how to do that. So let's ask for help. I'm trying to figure out block placement now. Could somebody give me some pointers? Same as breaking, but you go one block back. But what is one block back? Oh, well, oh, wait. 
Boom. So now that we can place blocks, let's build a traditional upside down T. Uh, yeah, we, we, yeah, I mean, we can build on the diagonal as well, unlike some other games. All right, but if you have not yet, you should definitely subscribe. I mean, if you like this kind of content, of course, which obviously you do because you're still watching for some reason. All right, see ya. Bye.